Dr. Hal Danzer, a fertility specialist at Southern California Reproductive Center. I had the good fortune to be one of the co-founders of 20 years ago. And over that period of time, we've uh, been able to assist uh, many women and couples in uh, growing their families. But one of the most common questions we get is, uh, am I infertile? Uh, what, what is fertility testing and when do I start doing it? Uh, how do I get a plan uh, given uh, the test results to go forward to give me the best chance of having the family I want in the future? So there's really kind of three areas of testing, uh, but before we get to that testing level, uh, people ask, you know, do I really have infertility? Uh, classically, infertility is trying for a year and being unsuccessful. Uh, under the age of 35, if you're over 35, it's really six months if you haven't uh, struggled to get pregnant, that's a time to start doing some testing. If a woman is under 35 and having irregular cycles, or the man has some history of a medical problem that might affect his sperm count, uh, then you start uh, at six months time. There are three basic tests that uh, evaluate one's fertility. Uh, about 30% of fertility issues are the man's sperm. A semen analysis is a very simple test to do at the very beginning. A test after that to look at the women's anatomy is an x-ray, a hysterosalpingogram, and an ultrasound. A relatively easy test to do to tell us about the reserve of eggs for that woman's ovaries. And then the other is a hormone blood tests, uh, again to look at thyroid and other issues that may affect uh, their fertility, but also to estimate, again, the egg reserve and to get a plan of uh, when to begin to do uh, some treatments and or when is the time to just try for another uh, three to six months. 